It has been a while. Yes, I've been busy, but realistically, if there was a fun football game, I definitely would have been able to squeeze out some more content for you guys the last few months. More on that in future videos. For now, let's pick up where we left off. And here is the team after the last few months of a hiatus. The Serie A theme continues, lots of new faces, and the team would probably be better if I had Di Maria in the team instead of Di Bala, but my Roma boys deserved an opportunity of a full weekend of playoffs and champs together. Now before we disappeared, some of you will remember that every weekend we would choose a formation and play with it for the 30 games of playoffs and champs combined, and today will be no different. So this weekend is a special one because I come from the future and let's just say that we are low-key hard to beat with this setup. We are indeed playing the 4-1-2-1-2. We have Pogba and Tonali as the obvious choices for a CDM and right center mid. Politano the surprise left center mid because we needed to have Mkhitaryan with the five star weak foot at cam. Dybala El Sharawi up top. For the tactics, it might be a surprise, but we're going to go with 71 width, 60 depth. Now, 71 width, you might be wondering what is that number, and there's a very specific reason why I've chosen that number and why we've gone wider, but that's a story for a future video. All you got to know is that for the foreseeable future, no matter what formation I play, I'm going with 71 width. Offense, we got build up on balance. We have chance creation on forward runs and we have width on 71 here as well. Although I don't really think it matters because I have no wide offensive players, but I just matched it to the defensive style, which will always be 71. And again, I will talk about this in a video in the future. Five, one, one. For instructions, we have the default ones on both the keeper and the center backs, pretty much the same as usual. We have stay back while attacking on both of the fullbacks. Then we have stay back while attacking cover center, deep plying playmaker on the CDM. We have drift wide on both of the center mids. Very controversial, but trust me, there's a logic to this. Stay forward on the central attacking midfielder, and then we have stay central on the two strikers. Now, the logic between the drift wide is that I need these guys to go forward, but I need these guys to go forward and give me width. And in combination with that, I want to make sure that they're always the ones who stay up a little bit wider. And that means I have to put my strikers on stay central. Spoiler alert, this works. Okay, I don't know why you're going to see in the gameplay, but it slaps let's go into the playoffs and go for that 10 and 0 because you can't go 30 and 0 in a weekend without your 10 and 0 playoffs performance mickey that's why he's in the team bang Oof. Boo! I like that. Oh my god, El Sharawi. Hello. Dude, dude, there's no way that just happened. That just, that turn sent him. Lucio. I'm actually pleased with that goal, not because it was nice or anything, but because he wasn't playing. So I was like, if I can't score here, man. I love that so much. Nice. The baddies ass. <laughs> oh, my God, I love you so much. I love that, man. I love that. He had no idea. 
Oh. Please. Oh my god, that save, bro. The lingering hand. Kim! Uh, this is gonna be a shameless goal. What a challenge. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Oh, my God. Do it. Guys, I am playing Joga fucking Bonito right now. And there's nothing you can do about it. Let's go. Bang. Thank you. Sometimes it's that easy, man. Sometimes it's that easy. That's for you. That goes for you. Um, oh, what a goal, bro. What happened? What happened is that we just went through playoffs like it was nothing. 10-0, we've set ourselves up for the perfect weekend with the Roma boys up top, and it was beautiful. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that appetizer for what's to come because obviously, Champs is going to be a little bit sweatier. Although it is Team of the Year, period. It's not like these packs are going to give us a Team of the Year, are they? Probably not. Actually, in fact, I can already spoil it. They aren't. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. Let me know if you do try the tactics in the coming episodes. And I'll catch you in the next video, which is going to be part two of three for this week's games. Peace.